Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. We have two women in the world that do not judge us. <laughs> They're the only two people that we can do this with. And Alicia, so take one. Hey everyone, it's Simon Hurley from Inclips, and welcome back to another video. I'm so excited because here I'm with Rena Kay and we are gonna be creating some really fun card making projects with both of our awesome ink lines and products. So we've got Rena's awesome neon inks here and we also have my line of inks that we're gonna be working with in today's video. We're gonna be chatting, getting to know us a little bit more. And also, after you're done watching this video, I'll have a link down below where you can check out her video on her channel where we did a little bit more chatting and playing around with some of our awesome products. It's gonna be very fun. <laughs> I'm very excited. I'm sweaty. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go. <laughs> Off to the side, our mothers are watching us. Very happy that we found each other. <laughs> are just in our rooms alone talking to ourselves. Talking to a camera. Yeah, so it's nice to have friends. As you know, this is my line of Electropop inks. These are all the bright colors. And then over here is Simon's brand with Ranger inks. And I already just love all the names because we both did the naming process of picking all the inks and um, so much did fun. you have a lot of names that you came up with and they were like, no. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. We would write all of our names down on a sheet. We would write it down, but then we would cross it out a little yeah, bit Yeah, be like, we are not <laughs> doing that. I had a few names that vetoed. Mm -hmm. I wanted, I was talking to the ink manufacturer and I was like, I want to do a line of inks that are like, a gag ink. Like I want to release them on April 1st. And I was like, we need a red called Rash. We need a green called Booger, like varicose violet. I'm ready to go. And then I thought he was just going to be like, somebody get this person away from me. I'm calling the police. Like I'm not making that product. But he was like, yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. And I was like, but then we decided um, my brand is kind of loud. I actually have been screaming the entire time so far. He's just like lowering the volume on the mic as I'm like going. <laughs> but um, I wanted to do like a loud, crazy neon collection because we did not have a neon line. And these are very, very strong and vibrant. And with Simon's inks, you can combine them, which is what we're going to be doing today. And they look even better together mm -hmm. if I'm... I'm a little biased, but I think they do. <laughs> I think they'll look amazing. Yeah, so tell me about some of your names. Okay, so we had a ton of fun naming these two. Um, we have Overzealous here, which is the really bright green. It truly is, it takes over your projects. Yeah. And then we have the brown and the gray, which is named Woof and Gur after my two dogs. Um, the brown dog. Oh, that's cute, yeah. All the time, <laughs> um, whether you're just happy, sad, anything. So we named that Gur and then Woof after my other little happy dog. And then we've got some fun ones like Bee Sting. You know, who wouldn't love a love bee sting? Love bee stings. <laughs> and we got so slippery cute. when wet, the best sign on the floor. So oh, we got yeah, a bunch yeah, of different yeah. things. Okay. And... I like when I saw a traffic cone, <laughs> I thought of that. I used to have a traffic cone as a pet. Oh. Right? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was face. a really weird kid. I had this traffic cone that I would carry around and it was my friend. So brought back some good memories there. But Put a little leash on it. Take yeah, it for seriously. A walk. She doesn't have friends, but she has a traffic <laughs> cone one day. I can hope she'll have friends. <laughs> But uh, yeah, these are cute. Remember me, mm -hmm. triple berry, rosy cheeks. It's like me right now, I'm <laughs> sweaty and shy. And <laughs> over the moon. Yeah, these are really fun. I love them. And there's giant, math is hard, 12? 12 there's inks. There's 12, yes. 12, I'm bad yes. at math too, so. Yeah, that's why we're stamping. <laughs> um, but my inks, I tried to go with some alliteration. And mm -hmm. I did Raging Red, Pop and Pink, Orange Glow, I wanted to name that one Over the Top Orange, but it didn't fit on the <laughs> a label. A little too long. And yeah, it was kind of a little too much, so whatever. <laughs> Hello Yellow, or we were gonna do like Lemon Yellow or something, I was like, that's been done, mm -hmm. mom, come on. And then I was like, Hello <laughs> Yellow, because <laughs> hello, it's really bright. And then Loud Lime, I feel like Overzealous and Loud Lime mm -hmm. are very similar and would go to well together. Sister. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're a pairing, OTP. <laughs> and then Screamin' Green, Blaring Blue, and Potent Purple. They're all so much fun, and these are so bright, I love them. I love all the neon colors, and they'll work like perfectly with any other incline. Even um, an ocean challenge, where you each have to use your lines to create a sea, mm -hmm. uh, an ocean type of themed card. So, so um, we've recently consulted with Gina Kay, who's mm -hmm. off screen. <laughs> getting some best. ideas <laughs> and um we're going to be using our ocean themed sets that we've come out with simon what's yours called Why so i have them? mythical mermaids which is a bunch of a merman and a mermaid and then i have you know little critters you can add into there as well so it's just a really fun and playful stamp set and then we have a stencil which makes these four shells here which is really fun 
And then we have the background stamp. So this is kind of like an under the sea oh, yeah. um, plant stamp, which is really cool. So my stamp set is called Ocean Minded. It, right here, I know it looks whack, but <laughs> this, you're supposed to stamp this in white and then it looks like the wave coming on shore. Mm -hmm. And then I have some footprints and I have some things written in the sand. And uh, so mine's like when you're looking out and his is when you've already hit the bottom when of the under. ocean. <laughs> but <laughs> both are beautiful and we're gonna make, we're gonna use each other's inks and swap some greetings and we're just gonna try to make a card. Yeah, and I'd love to try your paper too. Perfect, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I mean, we're here to share. Good. I'm here to take your what? products. I have to cut it, yeah. <laughs> There's a paper cutter. There's a paper cutter back there. I like, am so bad with it. I like. Oh, this is my favorite one. I'm just bad at stamping, mm -hmm. I think. My paper cutter at home, I had the, is it the tonic one? Oh, this yeah. one. Oh, there we go. Um, it's the one with orange, and yeah. it has the handle that's underneath yeah. that you have to assemble. I didn't know you had to assemble it for the longest time, so I was oh, just I using saw that. the little stump. You didn't put the and handle everyone on. was like, hi, Rena, great video, but there's something I need to bring up. And I was like, oh, wow, you, I am the dumbest person. I think she also just doesn't tell me things, so I just mess funny. up on camera. So do you want to just trade card stocks? Yes. And just like see how they like... Yes, I'd love to. Okay. So Perfect. I am using the Gina K 180 pound, 120 pound. <laughs> and it to you, <laughs> it like falls on the ground. Um, that is our 120 pound heavyweight cardstock, and it's really good for if you're coloring with Copic markers, great for dye inks, even better for the Electropop inks, but um, that's just my opinion. But um, yeah. And then I have my stark white cardstock, which I'm going to give to Rena over here. Mm -hmm. And that's a 110 pound cardstock. Um, it comes in eight and a half by 11, so it's great for like card bases, whatever way you want to cut it. And then it's super bright white, works with my inks and water and things like that, which is really awesome and perfect for card making. Yeah, this will work really good with those inks. I'm mm -hmm. excited. I'm going to use, so can I use your clear skies? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use my blaring blue. Definitely. I just need to test them a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the hello yellow, because this is cool. Good choice. And I'm going to ink up a little bit of like the sea floor background stamp. Mm -hmm. You've been blending over that. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm starting with the clear skies ink down here, and nice. I'm gonna make this look like. Have you ever been in the ocean mm -hmm. and you're like walking and then it just drops, like, <laughs> yes. and you have a heart attack? That's this point in the water. Nice. That's what I'm covering. I like all your shells that you have on there. I see a conch shell, mm -hmm. and I'm a little triggered because I was on the <laughs> ocean once, and we booked like a jet ski tour or something, and um, I was real pumped about it. Awesome. We were on a cruise, and then I tripped on a conch shell oh and my ripped gosh. my toe open and had to get stitches and did not get to go on the tour <laughs> while my family was exploring the island. I was, and then my mom. We were in the. Um, we were in like the cruise ships, like hospital kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I was laying there and she was like, Rena, picture for the scrapbook <laughs> of me in the hospital bed. So I you was got like, that great memory in there. Come on, mom, <laughs> I don't want to do this. If you get a little bit of ink on the other ink pad, just wipe off the top. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me finish it off. I'm going to finish it off with bee sting. So I did a little bit of the potent purple, some of the hello yellow, and then I mixed in some of my remember me and my overzealous, and we're gonna spray it and we're gonna see kind of what happens here. So I'm using the little sprayer and we're gonna mist this down to kind of get some of the colors to move. I think I'm gonna put some of your Remember Me near the back too. Awesome. So just make it look Ooh, this looks cool. I'm excited. Okay. Please don't look like trash. <laughs> I'm yeah. holding my breath. Please. This is the moment of truth. Okay. So we'll decide if we this is when every crafter, craft together, yeah. Yeah, every crafter holds their breath right yeah. now. Okay, that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool, that looks yeah. That looks awesome. Oh yeah, that is cool. That's and cool I love technique. how this like neon is like shining through in some of the areas. That's yeah. really awesome. All right, I'm gonna take the Remember Me ink. We awesome. also have to cross over each other a lot, mm -hmm. so like my elbow might come in your way. Just whatever. It's all good. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here. So I'm done with my background. Um, and I'm going to move on to like stamping some of the images so I can kind of color some of them in and get them moving. I'm going to use the Mythical Mermaid stamp set from my new launch. I really love this one, kind of the fun, playful style. I'm going to use this little merman? Merman. 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 Okay, so for afraid. this, I'm going to use watercolor cardstock because um, I find that it takes the inks the best. And I'll use the smooth side so I can do some stamping on it. This is the part where you're just breathing. 
<laughs> trying to figure out what we're gonna do. Yeah, it looks good. I think I might add some loud lime into the mix here, just to add a little bit nice. of algae. Something. <laughs> something in the ocean. Yeah. Whatever's down there. Yeah, some radioactive <laughs> waste. Oh no, that looks fun. So now I'm going in with some of my colors and I'm just going to spread them down on the mat. Since these are gonna be water reactive, they're gonna watercolor really nice when you pick them up here. So I'll go in with some slippery and wet, overzealous, remember me, some fun colors here to color this in. Keep watercoloring in here. This is when everything gets really quiet because we're all focused in on our coloring. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Where did I put the oh there it is, <laughs> the heat tool. <laughs> And I like heat set in between each layer so that the inks don't like bleed into each other. Um, otherwise it looks kind of gross. So I want to dry it in between. I like the gross in my <laughs> cards. I prefer to leave gross. Adds character. Okay, so to make the skin tone, I'm going to mix together a little bit of over the moon and gur, And that's going to make like a nice skin tone. And you can mix it either way to get the color you want. So here we go. Oh, that's the wrong color that I just used. <laughs> it's okay. Play it off. Play it off. <laughs> no pressure. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to test that off to the side. I think I like that. And then I'll go into... Let's bring a little bit more. There we go. So Simon, how did you get into stamping? Okay, so I started when I was... I was really young when I like first started. A little baby in the scene. Um, and I would do like paper beads and different things like that. Like I crocheted my own stuffed animals too when I was really young. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, That's impressive. Thanks. But then I would get like kind of bored of all of those things just because there was nothing like behind it. There was nothing new happening with any of that stuff. And so I kind of quit all of those. And then I was walking down the aisle of the craft store, which was a regular occurrence for me every <laughs> week. Um, and I would save up like my birthday money and Christmas money to do that. And um, I found Tim Holtz alcohol inks and like fell in love with them. I made like a million backgrounds with them. That's um, so fun. But like, I think we all know that when we make backgrounds, like we end up with a stack that we don't use. Um, yeah. So I searched up like what to do with all these backgrounds. And I found a video from Jennifer McGuire and Christina Warner and like fell in love. Um, with the industry and then I found Gina's videos too and like instantly fell in love with the whole community and that there's like so many companies releasing different things and um, you know the positivity behind it mm -hmm. and I fell in love with that like each card is different and can be unique which I really love so that's how I got started and then I just started making videos and um, sharing from there which was really awesome that's so cool <laughs> that's so like genuine thanks yeah <laughs> <laughs> so I started me and Gina K go back a little bit, like to the beginning of my life. <laughs> Did you st start stamping after I was in the world, Mom? Uh, yeah, just right after. She's recording me like, you're doing great, <laughs> sweetie. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I, my mom was very crafty my whole life, mm -hmm. and uh, she started Gina K Designs, and I didn't really, like, it didn't register to me, like, what a family business was. That she was, was a queen That she was... <laughs> the craft god and so I was like yeah you know it's fun and um, so I would stamp with her and she would use stamps to teach me how to read and granted I can only read happy birthday and get well soon and not that much but I did learn to like count and like color inside the lines and my Valentine's Day boxes in school those days that you would decorate them oh. mine slapped mine mm -hmm. were so good because I had all of her <laughs> embellishments and stuff awesome. and we would just go all out and it was so much fun and then um, I was in swimming for a while that kind of like I was stuck in that purgatory of <laughs> a sport and then I quit and I just kind of didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. Mm -hmm. And my mom was like, well, what if you try stamping? Like, it's a form I of do it, you've done it your it's whole really life. Cool. Yeah, it's very th therapeutic and mm -hmm. cheaper than therapy, might I add. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, uh, my mom was like, why don't you try stamping? And I was like, well, mom, I am 20. <laughs> I like, I, I'm not like, I feel like it's not a really a young person activity. Yeah, yeah. And like, that's like the stigma about it. Cause like when you hear mm -hmm. crafting, like you think it's kind of, you feel like I've all, always heard that it's just like kind of going out, but it's like the last thing that hasn't been like, it's the last thing you can like do with your hands. That's mm -hmm. like still like, exactly. it's not super like technology 
ridden and just boring. And so she was like, well, let me show you something. And then she showed me the wreath builder. And I was like, all right, that's pretty cool. And then she was like, let me show you foiling. And then she showed me like Jennifer's video. She showed me. Those will get you. Yeah, those, <laughs> those will, will get usually you hook you. Um, I have a picture of Jennifer on my wall in my room. <laughs> like a shrine to her. Above your bed. Good night, yeah. Jennifer. Night, Jennifer. <laughs> Love you. Sweet dreams. Happy crafting. But um, seriously, I like got into it and I was like, I need one of everything mm -hmm. like right now I need to and then I got into it and it was just fun and I just had like I thought of a lot of ideas that I could do stuff I thought of like some products that I wanted to like see and uh, yeah it's just been fun I get to work with my mom mm, that's awesome pretty good boss but <laughs> I mess up I'm out of the business and the family so <laughs> the pressure's a little high all right so I have this going right now Very awesome that looks right? good yeah the gur worked perfectly mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to lay this on top is that all gur? that's all gur yeah all gur that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> it looks like two different colors that's just my uneven blending and panicking <laughs> and like trying to get it like to look even <laughs> But I guess it kind of looks like it looks a technique. Mm -hmm. Most of my techniques are mistakes that I'm just like, I don't have <laughs> you time invent to fix the it. Yeah. Oh, wow, you're cutting that mm -hmm. freehand. Fussy cutting. I find that when, okay, if you have trouble with fussy cutting, get these Me. scissors. <laughs> <laughs> get these scissors. They're like spring assisted, so they're really easy to like, they don't make your hands tired. And then also, follow, like move the paper instead of the scissors, and it helps get the line a little bit smoother. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I leave a white border, so if it's not even, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just used my dust bag or whatever. Nice, nice. Doing some heat embossing. Yeah. You know, you're probably going to want to heat set that. What is that? He's like, oh, girl. <laughs> it's going to stick if you don't heat set it. <laughs> oh, true. Okay, so wait, what part do I have to heat set? Just the, the panel, the ink. Oh, okay. Because it feels like it's dry, like it will be dry and you won't be able to move it, but like it's, it, it'll stick to the end. So I stamp, I heat this or this? This is going to melt. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this. That will ruin your stamp. <laughs> well, this is a nice, like gentle one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice and soft. See, I'm already learning, guys. <laughs> and hopefully this will help. I've done that too many times to like, to let you do it again, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Warn me before I... Sometimes I won't stop you because it'll be funny, but like... Yeah, I know. That's what she does, too. She's like, yeah, yeah, keep doing what you're doing. That looks great. I always just, like, try to... It's hard to see just because mm -hmm. it's such a big stamp. And, yeah. Um, Sometimes you have to, like, press in the center to make sure that everything stamps well. Yep. Well, my, there's nothing I can do about it now. <laughs> I hope it works. <laughs> I'm going to get my embossing powder. Okay, so I have this still, and I want to add a little bit more color, so I'm going to go on here and blend a little bit too, like over top to like add a little bit more. Um, so I'll start off with, let's go with some clear skies. I'll do a little bit of that. We'll bring that in on the edge here. And I'm going like really light-handed so that the, the top part like really stands out, and then the back of it is kind of in the distance. <laughs> Alright, that looks like about as good as my ocean is going to get. <laughs> So. Handmade. Yeah. It's handmade. <laughs> Honesty. <laughs> All right. So it'll just kind of be like a distressed mm -hmm. ocean. Look. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Getting dust all over you. Um, uh, where I'll use, let's use the Hello Yellow. And I'm just going to do it really lightly. I've never used these before, but I've heard that they are awesome. And I feel like they're going to be like good. I feel like that's good for getting like really solid color. And this is good for getting really light. Yeah, it's pretty... Color. Yeah, that's awesome. It's pretty loud. Oh, I love that. This is so cool. Mixing those two together, you mm -hmm. get that really neon and then the really kind of yeah. bright, but like a little bit muted inks. Mm -hmm. I was going to... Uh, my aesthetic, especially for the set too, is mm -hmm. kind of vapor wavy and mm -hmm. like with all neons and that's what I was trying to go for. Yeah. Looks awesome. Hopefully it just looks like textured. I love embossing. Oh, it's the best. It's, it's like, like chemistry. Yeah. But like fun. <laughs> But not chemistry class, because I, I didn't do too good in that one. Me either, I feel you. <laughs> I, I moved to a new high school during my chemistry like time that I had to take that credit. Mm -hmm. And they were like, so you test for the advanced chemistry oh, course? And I was oh like, yeah, no. I'll do it. It's fine. <laughs> not okay. Not Very good. hard. Yeah. Not a good idea. Okay, it's smoking. <laughs> it's literally like, that. on like, fire. <laughs> do we have any... Um, Fire, sting fire extinguishers on set, Mom? <laughs> we have a water bottle. <laughs> we have Simon's spray bottle, so oh, yeah, that's, just... that's our fire <laughs> protocol. 
All right, so that is my this is awesome. distressed kind of ocean look. This and looks so cool. With the lighter color in the background, it like fills it out a little bit more, which I love. Mm -hmm. That looks awesome. I, I We thought the drawers would be like easy access for us, <laughs> but the only things we have in the drawers are like, I literally have like candy in some of the drawers and then like trash <laughs> That's and good stuff. for crafting though. Yeah. And then everything we need is out of reach, so. <laughs> Kind of counterproductive. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to spray it with a little bit of water and I'm going to like pull the trigger only a little bit so that there's like some bigger water um, blotches that go on here. So mine react with water and we're going to kind of see if both of ours react really awesome with water and see kind of what they'll do. So let's go on here. I'll kind of make a little bit of water down on there and yeah, they're reacting. Let me spray it in my hand and then go like this. Oh! The technique. <laughs> awesome. So it's gonna lift up a little bit of those colors and create a little bit of a blotchy effect. I went to class and pe some people don't like that effect. So if you don't want that, just don't spray it with water, but I like that, so I'll, I'll spray mine. Mm -hmm. I've gonna... sweat onto a project before <laughs> and I was like, so this is some water distress. Like, <laughs> now we have to add a little bit more water. <laughs> yeah, and be like, uh, ignore that spot right there. I'm gonna put a bow on it. <laughs> um, there's embossing powder I like that set. my tidy towel. <laughs> and you could even like make a whole background with that, I feel like. That, that's just a cool mm -hmm. texture. Or like do stuff on like a scrapbook page. Mm -hmm. That's an awesome Put that next there. to the picture of me in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> make it look pretty. Next to you Memories. in the hospital and then them having fun on the beach. Just... Yeah, the next, in the background they're on jet skis. Mm -hmm. while, like out of the window behind me is them on a jet ski <laughs> going by. <laughs> I'd be so sad. Okay, can I see your stamp set? Yes. Uh, Here okay, you I'm gonna go. put a couple... I'm gonna put these little shells. Awesome, that's gonna look good. Stuff and okay, so I have the die set. This is the large oval set from Gina, and Rena's taped it up a little bit here because the packaging got ripped. Yeah, I have a dog, <laughs> and I don't really get to have any nice things anymore <laughs> because of it. Okay, so I'm going to let's grab the largest oval. Let's see. I think that's gonna look really cool, and I'll use this is a stitched oval, so it's gonna create some like cool detail on there, which I love. Mm -hmm. My life is held together with purple tape sometimes. Mine too. <laughs> Might need a little bit of stronger tape for that, but <laughs> <laughs> it's trying its best. Oh, that actually looks good. Orange glow. It pops so nicely off of that. Yes, it the electro neon. pops, mm -hmm. if you will. <laughs> I make that joke and then I literally want to just like throw my head on the ground. <laughs> okay, and then I'll, I'll stamp this onto that, again, the background, but I'll stamp it in blue so it goes on top of this, and then I can put that on top, and then it'll match up. So I'm going to use a piece of the Tranquil Teal, and then I'm going to score it at four and one-fourth. So we're making a side folding card here. I have a hard time saying numbers when I'm explaining steps, Me too. like I measurements. Like, I'm always just like, oh. The only way that I know this is with that little star on there. That really helps. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Um, I am going to stamp my greeting, and I think I'm going to oh, do it, like, really down good. here with, like, a little panel. Um, nice. Those look really cool, the shells below. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're real cute. This is, I should put, like, a broken toe next to this <laughs> one as <laughs> memorative of the toe that I lost on a conch shell. Hope your toe gets better. Yeah. We need to make a sentiment that says that. Mm -hmm. What was funny, too, is that I had that toe mishap, and then two weeks later, I was walking with my friends. You know how like in middle school, you just walk around town because that's mm -hmm. all you can do. Exactly. So we were walking on the railroad track to our friend's house and I fell and stepped on a stick. This was just after getting my toe <laughs> stitched in the Caribbean oh, Islands. No. So I'm, I'm a little shaky on my toes right now. And I was wearing flip flops, of course, and I stepped on the stick and I just remember feeling this like searing pain and then nothing. And I was like, I did let out a word that I will not repeat, very <laughs> loud. And then um, I was walking and I saw this like line on my toenail. Oh my and gosh. I was just like, that doesn't, that was not there before. <laughs> that looks wrong. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what, I'll just, I'll just, you know, put on a brave face and I'll just go hang out with people. And then like, I was like, I cannot feel my <laughs> knee down. Like I need to go get this fixed. And then I came home and you know, telling your mom that you got hurt is mm -hmm. never an easy thing to do mm -hmm. <laughs> ever. And so I was like, mom, I think something's wrong with my toe. And then she looked at it and she was like, 
we need to take you to the hospital. <laughs> like the car like burst through the garage door and then I was taken in. And it turns out, I thought it was just like, like a blood vessel or something. Mm -hmm. They pulled out a stick from under my toenail and I still Ooh. have the stick. <laughs> Tune in next week they when I make a card <laughs> with yeah. my stick that was under my toenail. <laughs> Tie some twine around it. Yeah, do some like- This is for you. <laughs> some like background technique. But yeah, it was, it was traumatic. And it was two weeks after my last toe. So I was like, that's I have eight more toes left. <laughs> There's a lot that can go wrong. This is when Gina just like grounds you to your room for yeah. the year so that you don't break any more toes. This is toes. when I couldn't do anything. <laughs> I was just like in Rapunzel. I was Rapunzel. <laughs> in in McFarland just so I won't risk any more toes. <laughs> okay, so I've stamped down the um, seafloor background stamp in Remember Me Ink so that matches really nicely with the Tranquil Teal. And then it actually matched up perfectly on there. So if you stamp it right, it's gonna continue that pattern there that we did in the background. And then I'll stamp a little sentiment down. Okay, yeah. Ocean-minded? Ocean-minded, it's kind of stuck. <laughs> Just ripped that <laughs> off of my junk over here. Okay, so let's do, um, let's do seize the day. Would you guys kill me if I cut the stamp? Can I cut no, it? No, you can cut it. Okay. We have, we have a few. Okay, <laughs> And you can always put it back together. Yeah. I just didn't know how y'all felt about cutting stamps. No, please. <laughs> okay, so with this seize the day, I want it to be seize and then the day underneath it. So, so it's gonna, gonna mutilate my stamp. <laughs> we're gonna cut it up a little bit here. So, let me see. I'm gonna grab my scissors here. Make sure you have nice sharp scissors. And then just go right in between the words. Here's a little lesson on cutting stamps. But don't scream. The stamps won't scream if you don't scream. Yeah. So. <laughs> Here's a lesson on cutting stamps. Make sure they're <laughs> Rena's and not yours. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so I've cut it right in between those two. And then it it'll enables you to like put one right below the other so I can like, it just gives you more versatility, which I really like. So if you want to get more versatility with your photopolymer stamps, definitely try this. So I'm redoing this paper that I did because it had like some sticky some stuff on it. Yeah, <laughs> some gunk. And I just, you know... <laughs> I can't have gunk. Okay, so that's really cool. It's not supposed to stamp super solid because it's supposed to look like it was in the sand, but I love that like cool texture that they added um, when you designed the stamps, so that's really cool. That, that looks look cool, yeah. That, that background looks so like, just like the color of it is so interesting. Nice. I've never been able to do that. It was our colors together, teamwork. <laughs> we did this together. It says our card. These are our cards together. Mm -hmm. So many Thanks. puns in stamping. Mm -hmm. That's just like sort of the, best. the backbone and it's fun to come of up the entire stamping industry. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, so I'm gonna use some foam squares. These are Gina's. And they come in this box that's like super easy to like dispense them out. So Okay, we're just gonna so you just pull them and then pull it a little bit. Okay, a lot. A lot. <laughs> pull your package a lot. Bit. Okay, so once you're done pulling a lot, that's there to protect the foam squares. You get them coming out like this, and they're like an easy dispensing system. So you've got your foam squares on ready, rather than having a huge sheet to store. This is really cool. So I'm going to put the squares right behind my merman. They spent two at one time. I'm pretty talented. Okay. Got some skills. <laughs> I don't want to brag. <laughs> Don't want to brag, but I just dispense two foam scores at once. Put that on a resume, dude. <laughs> That'll only get you a job here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put that there, and then we'll peel these backings off. Okay, so that definitely was not straight, but this card's Solid. going to me, so... <laughs> You look accepted. Doesn't matter. I don't think I'm gonna judge. You get it. This card is trash. Yeah. <laughs> Who made I'll definitely this? Feed this? I'm sending it back. <laughs> I'm gonna go in here, even though I've already like put everything together, and I'm gonna grab. Let's see. I'll use the Gur, which Rena has been using this whole video. It's a great color, um, and I'm just going to do the blending tool, and I'm just gonna do it on the edges so that it gets like a little bit more like standing out on the card. Makes it stand out from that background a little bit. Okay. I do this when there's really bright colors and we're working with some neons and some really bright ones from my line, so this will just help it stand out. Okay, I think this is a little too bright. I need <laughs> to make this a little bit darker because it doesn't awesome. match my wave. Find the most random things under things. Or you lose like the littlest dies from the set that you actually care about. Mm -hmm. That's the worst. I found a piece of my Wreath Builder stamp set stuck to Mishi's dog collar. Like three weeks after using <laughs> it, and stamp. I was just like, thank 
God, you eat it. That's all I have to say. That would have been much harder to find later on. Take him to the vet. Yeah. Your dog so has photopolymer in him? Yeah, it's, but it's great quality. <laughs> it's the highest Here's the link. Quality. Here's my affiliate link. <laughs> But these are our cards. I really like how the inks go together. They actually work mm -hmm. really well together because yours are very bright and like youthful too. And then like they're great for adding like detail mm -hmm. with these. Yeah, and mine are a little bit like they're like bright, but they're like a little bit muted. Whereas yeah. yours are super bright, so you're able to like mix them together. It's kind of like us as people. Like exactly. you actually like have it more together. <laughs> I'm just screaming until we turn <laughs> off the camera. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. We're surrounded in our own mess, and we had tons of fun creating both of these cards today, kind of mixing my inks and your awesome neon inks together and some of our fun stamps and products. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And there will be a link down there to Rena's video where we did a fun challenge over there using, again, some of our products. This is definitely just us like <laughs> relaxing and stamping. That one, it's a little more stressful. <laughs> Which is always fun. My <laughs> channel is always a little more stressful. There will also be links down below, and they're my affiliate links, so if you want to use those to support me to purchase anything you saw in today's video, I would really appreciate that at no extra cost to you. <laughs> and also, leave us a comment down below letting me know if you want to see more of us together in videos, because this is tons of fun, and we would love to craft together even more. It's so nice to have a friend. Please. <laughs> We Let's don't do just this again talk together. To the <laughs> yeah. Hopefully next time we'll plan a little better for our cards. <laughs> but I still had a great time and I love your inks and products and yeah, keep supporting Simon. And Rena. Don't Rena. forget. Uh, we'll awesome. see you guys very soon in another video. Have a okay. great day. Bye. Bye.